Welcome to my channel. Today I will share with you this forecast function. Since we are entering the new year, we are doing many forecasts and planning. So I hope this will help. To do the forecast, you need only two things. A timeline and your historical data. Okay. So for example, now I have this monthly data and this uh, production number. So you just uh, select the two and then you go to data and select this forecast sheet. And when you click on here, you can see that um, this blue line is your historical data and this orange is the forecast number and you have this um, confident level. Okay, when you click on this option, you can see that um, this two line is corresponding to this 95% confident interval and you have a seasonality. Later, I'll have another example to show you why it is okay then we click create then the, this focus sheet will create on another sheet okay so just now we have the data until the december and we have three predicted value okay so this is the number predicted and this is the formula that used by uh, excel to do the focus you can change the number in the formula to adjust the focus okay or you can just uh, go to your data and then you create another one of this uh, forecast sheet and then you change on the option. So um, basically, these are two ways you can uh, modify the forecast. Okay. Um, your data has to be in series and it's not necessarily must be a date of um, daily or monthly. It can be a number one, two, three, as long as it is a sequence, and then you can just uh, create the forecast. If you have a uh, one data missing, for example, if you have this um, July, so um, so we just remove this number. Okay, then we can see what. Happened. So we create another one forecast sheet and create. Okay, so now you can see I have two. So you can see the slightly different on this um, number which I deleted just now to show you uh, what's the difference if we have this uh, missing number. So if you see on this formula, so basically this is the formula used to calculate. Okay, okay. first this is the target date with the number we want to uh, predict. And then we have this um, value, our value. And then we have this timeline. Then the seasonality. And we have this uh, data completion. Data completion means if you have some data um, missing, then it will automatically uh, do the calculation. So for example, um, if you put this at aggregation, then you can see that uh, we can actually select. By default, this is one means um, it will take the nearest uh, average. So for example, in this uh, formula, in our example is uh, average of these two number. The Excel put in the number by uh, average of the nearest two number. Okay. So um, I just checked in this uh, Microsoft support and it mentioned that uh, it can accept up to 30% missing uh, data. So if you have a few points missing, then uh, it will still be okay to use this forecast sheet. Okay. So now let's go to this uh, seasonality. Seasonality is um, the cycle or you can see uh, a few points which are repeated in the same uh, pattern. Okay, so for example, for this uh, data, I slightly adjust so that we can see this uh, seasonality. So we have this uh, seasonality 3 and 4. Okay, if you select this one and then you click on this forecast sheet. And in the option, you can see that um, Excel will still detect automatically, but you can see a number here. So it actually detects as 3. So you can set manually as 3 or you just uh, let it. Okay, then you create. So now you can see this uh, for formula. 
it put in as a one possibility but if you put as three then it is still the same so you can see now it's still the same number because uh, this seasonality is three seasonality can support up to um, 8760 this is the number of hours in the year if you put the number greater than this number then it will result in this number error so if you put in this form then you can see that um, it will detect as four if there are no seasonality then you can see that um, this number is zero and when you see in the formula then it's still the one because um, it detects automatically I hope this forecast will help you in your planning or forecasting for this 2024. If you like my video, please like and subscribe and share with your friend. If you want to learn more in detail, you can sign up for my course and you can also leave a comment in the comment below on which topic you would like to learn more. Thank you, Thank you. and Happy New Year.